once again, back in the 1920s, the tricone is a luxury instrument. It's expensive to make. It was expensive to make. Um, and when the Depression hit, uh, people weren't buying expensive guitars. So this design was invented to try and economise. It has one larger cone instead of three small cones. The sound changes because of that. With the, simple, with the single cone, you get a simpler, more direct sound, a sound which you might describe as being perhaps more honest. Um, it was cheaper to make. Nowadays, the difference isn't that much. Um, and it has a bit of a, a honk uh, in the lower mid-range, and that honk is kind of appealing for blues. <laughs> Sort of where you feel it around. You know, a lovely guitar, but a different guitar for the tricone. A guitar which is pulling you more towards the blues end of the spectrum, whereas the tricone is kind of like a guitar you could do anything with. Very versatile instrument, something that's starting to pull you a little bit bluesy. Low string shuffle. <laughs> Seems to work. Finger picking. through the registers that's all very nice yep resonates very nicely different resonance quality to the tricone uh, but lots of it and it's and it's nice instrument either with a slide or without very versatile instrument <laughs> lovely, lovely instrument with or without a slide very versatile maybe not quite as versatile as the as the tricone but still a very versatile instrument because it's got a brass body what happens if we use a steel body